Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We continue chapter 2 for mechanics of materials which is analysis of strain. Previously you already learned how to analyze the stress. Now is analyze the strain. What is strain? We will take a look deeper in this chapter. First, let's take a look at the learning outcome. By the end of this chapter, you should be able to identify the concept of strain, apply the concept of strain in calculating the normal and shear strain in the elements, also in the structures, calculate the deformation in the elements or in the structure. Basically, here in this chapter, we will analyze the deformation that had been occurred to the structure subjected to a load. Same as stress, in strain also you have two types of strains which is normal strain and also shear strain. What are the difference between strain and stress and then what are the difference between shear strain and also normal strain. Deformation Strain is a force or influence that stretches pulls or puts a pressure on something, sometimes we cause a damage. The damage we call it as a deformation. Deformation is when a force is applied to a body, it will change the body shapes and also the size. For example, a rubber band, it will undergo a very large deformation when it's stretched. Here, the strain is form of deformation. And the defo and the deformation here, when you apply the load to the structure, sometimes it is excessive. It will cause the structure to change in its shape and also change in its size. Take a look at this figure. This figure is before you apply the load. And here when you apply the load, you pull this material. You can see that the dimension here. The diameter is reduced and also it becomes elongates as well as the degree is changed means that this rubber is in deformation state. For example, the excessive stress in brittle materials such as concrete has caused it to strain until it's fracture. The load will cause all materials to deform. If you apply the excessive load to the structure or to the material, then it will deform. You can see here the crack. This is due to the excessive load, load from up here. the relative change in shape or size of an object due to the externally applied forces. There are two types of strain which is normal strain. The symbol is epsilon and shear strain. The symbol is gamma. What is normal strain? Normal strain is a deformation of a member per unit length. It is either elongates or it is contraction elongates means it become elongate so that's why it is positive contraction it become shortened the average normal strain is defined as the average normal strain is equal to the final length minus original length divide by original length or we can simplify the formula which is normal strain is equal to the deformation divided by length the deformation here is equal to the final length minus original length deformation or displacement Delta. If the normal strain is known, then the approximate final length is given to you by this equation. 
final line is equal to 1 plus normal strain and you need to do the integration. Normal strain is dimensionless since it is a ratio of two lengths but remember even though it is a dimensionless still you need to put the units for example if you if you use this in meter and meter the unit will be meter over meter if you use millimeter millimeter over millimeter do write the units how about the shear strain shear strain is change in angle just no normal strain change in length shear strain change in angle that occur between two line segments that are originally perpendicular to another. This is a deformed body. The original angle is 90 degrees. But if some load had been applied to this body, it will change in angle. Take note that the unit for shear strain is in radian. That's why this is pi over 2. And this is uh, just a basic formula that you just calculate the angle. So, please remember that normal strain is change in length while shear strain change in angle. What are the difference between stress and strain? Stress is a force per unit area. You have normal stress and also shear stress. The symbol for normal stress is sigma while the symbol for shear stress is tau. Different with stress, strain is a measurement of deformation. You have you also have two strains which is normal strain and also shear strain. Normal strain we indicates by epsilon while shear strain with gamma. Let's take a look at this example. An air fill rubber ball has a diameter of 150 mm. If the air pressure within it is increased until the ball's diameter becomes 175 mm, determine the average normal strain in the rubber. They give you the initial diameter is 150 mm. And then when you apply a pressure, the diameter becomes 175. So you need to calculate the average normal strain you know that average average normal strain is equal to the final length minus original length divided by original length or the deformation divided by original length from the equation you know that the initial the original diameter is equal to 150 millimeters and the final diameter is equal to 175 millimeters from here you can calculate the normal strain the final is equal to 175 the original is 150 divided by original 150 this one is equal to 0 0.1667 I use millimeter so my unit will be millimeter over millimeter. This is how you calculate the normal strain. Read this example. The plate is deformed into the dash shape. If in this deformed shape, horizontal line on the plate remains horizontal but do not change their length, determine the average normal strain along the side of AB and the average strain in the plate relative to x and y axis. The question asks you to calculate the average normal strain at AB. This is A. The blue color is the original plate. And then when you apply the force, it become deformed. This one will become B prime and here is C prime. Now you have to calculate the average normal strain of AB. You know that the length of this one is 250. Now it become here AB prime. What is the length of AB prime? Here to here 
is given which is 3 millimeter can you find a b prime yes by using theorem pythagoras or hypotenuse a is for you to calculate the normal strain of AB. Draw the free body diagram. This is A. This is A B prime. The length AB is equal to 250 mm. And from here to here is 3 mm. So now we would like to find a b prime then use a theorem pythagoras plus 250 minus 2 y minus 2 go it is until here only square and square root is equal to 248.0181 millimeter and then we can find the AB now we will find the normal strain AB prime minus AB divided by AB is equal to 248.01 minus 250 divided by 250 is equal to negative 7.9274 times 10 power of negative 3 because I use millimeter I my unit will be millimeter over millimeter why it is negative remember positive is elongates negative will be, it is contraction so it is it become shortened or contraction the second question is for you to calculate the average shear strain of the plate relative to x and y axis this is your plate you have to find the gamma here again Draw the diagram. What is your gum? What is your theta here? How to calculate the theta? You have the length, then you can use a tangent. Tangent theta is equal to 3 divided by 248. Theta is equal to 0 0.693. And then you need to times pi over 180 because as I mentioned, the unit is in radian. This one will be your answer because there is no changes in x direction. You only have the changes in y direction please try this one this one too this is your exercise by that Thank you.